Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Kitty Cam Vlog. Uh, I hope y'all are having a wonderful Thursday. I think today Thursday. I think. Anyway, but I hope y'all having a lovely day. So as you can see today, we're going to be doing another um, Nephew Tommy reaction. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. But before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell. But other than that, um, let us get right into it. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach, can you hear me? Yes. I'm trying to reach Anastasia. This is she. How you doing, man? Listen, I'm uh, Glenn, the lifeguard over here at the pool, here in the apartment complex. Yes, sir. Do you have a, um, do you have a son named... Yes, sir. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, everything is fine. I mean, uh, uh a quick question, ma'am. We got a situation here with... What's going we, on? Uh, we, we're not, we're not going to be allowed to, uh, to let him swim here at the pool in the complex anymore. What? We got what a... What do you your mean? Son, your, your son... Uh, I mean, he swims here pretty much every, every, every other day. You know, I'm always here seeing him swim. But it seems like yeah. is, you know, we've been trying to figure out who it is. Your, your son keep peeing in the pool. Man, my son ain't peeing in no pool. Ma'am, I, I, I don't want to get into it with you. Your son, is, we finally narrowed it down. Your son is the one that's peeing in the pool every day. And, you know, it, it's really a bad thing. Uh, it, we can't continue to keep letting him come over here. We got to ban him from the pool. My son don't pee in no pool. We ain't nasty like that. Did you take them <laughs> to be in the pool? Why the you going to say it's my son in the pool? Well, your son is the one that be making faces and stuff, and I know that's what he's doing. He in there peeing. Your son is the one that's peeing now, in the pool. Why you make, making faces? He be making faces, so I know he in there peeing. What's that got to do with the He can be making faces because Pool, oh, or something. What the hell you gonna say? He's in the pool because he's making face. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna go we back. He's not lasting like that. I teach my kids better than that. He ain't in no pool. Hey, I, hey, lady, I'm not gonna. All I'm saying is he can't come over here and swim anymore. He's banned from the pool until we rectify this problem. Now, y'all gonna be in that pool, and we gonna be down there tomorrow. Matter of fact, I'm bringing all my kids to the pool. No, we gonna hey. all in that. Ma'am, I'm not finna sit here and go back and forth with you. All I'm trying to tell you is this right here. Your son has been peeing in the pool. My boss wants me to ban him. If, he, if he's not the one, then we will allow him to come back later. But right now, we're singling people out. And your son, you know, it just seems like he's the one that's doing it. What you say the f your name was? My name is Glenn. I'm Glenn the lifeguard. That's who I am. <laughs> now, what's your real name? Glenn what? Because the f that I'm supposed to be calling me. You ain't got no business calling my I'm not at liberty to give my last name. The bottom line is, we but can't have your son my in the phone. phone. What? But you at liberty to call my phone, but you can't give me your own name? Okay, listen, I'm not, I, all I'm supposed to do is call you and let you know that we banned your son from getting in the pool. I don't give a what you talking about. You can't ban my son from playing the life, boy. Get a real job, a summer job. Do you buy a job at all? Calling my phone, you silly. You know what? You ain't about and you can't stop nobody from coming next pool. And we're gonna be down there tomorrow again. And if we did the pool, do your job and clean that out. Man, let me say this to you if your son comes to the pool tomorrow and get in the pool, I'm snatching your son out of the pool. I wish you would. I wish you would. You don't need a life guard. You snatch my Pool. I, w I wish you would. Uh, what, the, what time the pool open at 10 o'clock? We gonna be there at 9.30. You got me up. Come on, you gonna snatch my son out of the pool. You done lost your mind. You about to be in the pool. You done lost your mind. Hey, 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 lady, the problem is your son has been singled out. All the other kids are pointing at and saying he's the one that's doing it. Your son is the one that's being in the pool. He's being in the pool. Whatever. Okay. Uh, for right now, all I'm asking you is, is keep your son away from the pool for the next two weeks. If we find out that it's not him, we'll allow him to come back, okay? Hey, he, uh, he ain't staying away from the pool for two weeks, and if he do, he's going to come back and do some more pool. I'm going to take him the whole two weeks worth of and go back to that Come on, my son in the pool. You can tell by his face. You said, what are your 
all set. How the f you supposed to be watching for life? You watch in the pool. You don't lost your mind. You must not know who the f you talking to. I will be down there tomorrow. Me and I will find my kids. And they don't get in the pool too. No, you you not think bring all them to. kids over there, getting them in the pool. Let me tell you something. Don't you bring them kids over there and bring them in the pool. No, none of your children. I don't give a damn what you say. You don't run you a lifeguard. Get real. No, listen, lady, listen, lady, I, 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 I'm not going to go continue to go back and forth. I got one more thing I need to say to you, and I'm done, okay? One more thing, and I'm done. You ain't got to say to me. I do have one thing I do need to say to you. What the you got to say to me? I need to say this. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> you just got pranked from your homeboy. You. Yeah. 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 Hello? I'm a kid. Look at Man, look at him. Nephew Tommy, don't... Man, you, you about to get this life going? Look at this fool. Y'all play too much. Y'all know y'all play too much. Wow. I'm going to raise my blood pressure for nothing. I'm walking towards the pool now. Ooh. I thought you was coming to the pool tomorrow. I, I was coming to the office today. And they still was opening the 5 o'clock office to tell me I don't call my... I was going my son in the pool. I was going to come now. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of them kids, baby. I got one more thing I got to ask you. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show, baby. The Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. <laughs> wow. Yeah, hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach uh, Keith. Yeah, who this? Hey, my name's Greg, man. Greg, <laughs> you, you, uh, you drive a uh, school bus, don't you? Yeah. Okay, uh, you do you pick up on um on Street? Hold on, man. Who is this again? Do I do I know you? My name is Greg, man. Greg. I think my son rode your bus last year. Um, I live at. You 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 pick up on right? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, I think that was on my route last year. Okay. Well, listen. The reason why I was calling, man, is I wanted to talk to you because you're the driver, and ask you about uh. This year, man, uh, when you pick up, because I know school starts tomorrow, this year when you pick up, I want to make sure that uh, you pick up my son out there in the driveway and opposed to him walking all, going all the way down there to the edge of the street uh, to get picked up at the normal bus stop. You know, I'd rather you pick him up at, uh, in the driveway, man, because if not, then i got to get out of bed, go all the way down there with him every morning <laughs> and make sure, you know, wait for the bus to come and all that. I'd rather you just pick him up in my driveway. So I wanted to call and talk to you personally about, you know, making my driveway a bus stop before you get way down there to the other end of the street. Hold, hold on, man. Now, now, now how, how do you have to get my number now, man? Well, actually, I, I got, you know, I got I know all the, uh, I got your name, and I, I looked everything up, but I got a lot of the bus drivers' names. I had to figure out who was going to be on this route this year. So I, I found out it was going to be you, Keith. Keith you Keith, right? Yeah, yeah, that's my name, but I don't think you're supposed to have my number, man. Uh, you know, something like this. You supposed to call the school or the school district, or, you know, the bus system, somebody else. It, you're not supposed to have my number. Well, well calling but see, me but about see, this. the thing is, it ain't no sense of me talking to the school system or the bus system, whatever. I want to talk to you because you're the one doing the driving as far as the bus is concerned. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. I understand you, but that's not that's not part of my job right there. I I I do the route the way that the school and and, and the bus system they tell me what to do. I don't. I don't pick and choose where I pick up these kids. These kids get picked up wherever I get told to pick them up from. Okay, and I understand. So you got to. You, you got to. You got to. You got to. You got to. You talking to the wrong person. I. I can help you get in touch with the right people. But no, 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 no. no. I, I'm, I'm talking not, to the right person that I want to talk to. Because, because, see, you the one that makes the decision when you put your foot on the brake. And it ain't none of you put the foot on the brake right there in my driveway and let the boy jump on the bus. And opposed to me coming out here morning, going down there, sitting and waiting thirty minutes until the bus comes. All right, so what I'm saying is I want my child picked up at the, in the driveway, 1402. You see what I'm saying? Now, you going all the way down there to the other end. I'm not going to get up and do that every morning this year. I'm, 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 that's why I'm calling now to get this straight. I'm not getting up every morning, going down there Monday through Friday, sitting there for 30 minutes. Then I got to come back and get myself ready for work. And, I, you know, when I could have slept a whole nother hour. This, this is not going to happen this year. So what I'm saying is he going to be out there in the driveway tomorrow morning, and I want you to pick him up. Now, let me say this to you, Key. Now, if if, 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 if if you pass by my son and don't pick him up Monday, you can rest the show come Tuesday morning. I'm going to be standing out there, 
And I'm putting my foot in your <laughs> for passing him up because I don't already told you to make sure you pick him up. <laughs> oh, hell. Play, hold on. Wait. Wait a <laughs> minute now. You, I don't think you understand who you talking to, man. I'm, I don't give a <laughs> what the problem is. What, you got a disability or something? You can't walk the kid out there and do something? I, that ain't man, my job. That ain't my problem. Good. That's a personal problem, man. Greg, Gregory, whatever your name is, man, you need to go on with that. Now, I don't know who you think you're talking to, man. I don't play that. Hey, well, listen, right? I, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. All I'm saying is this right here. Don't pass my son up tomorrow. 1402, make sure you pick him up. Now, if you pass him up and don't pick him up and go on down there to the uh, uh, original bus stop, then I promise you come Tuesday morning, I'm going to get on that bus and kick your for not picking my son up when I told you to. I know I'm going to call you ahead of time to tell you what oh, to do. Oh, see, you won't make me drive the bus right in these mouth now. I'll run, I'll run straight on through your living room, pick him up that way if that's how you want it. <laughs> but you ain't going to call me tell me what I'm going to do, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you this. Your son need to be at that stop, or your son going to get left. Then you got to wake your up and drop him off on your own. Hey, you ain't finna leave my son no damn way. It won't way. be no bus. It won't be no bus coming your son way. How about that, player? Wow. Hey, man, you gonna pick my son up where I tell you to pick him up. You gonna pick him up in that driveway, 1402. Now, he gonna be out there in the morning. Oh, okay. Now, if my son come back up in this house and tell me that the bus driver didn't left him, I promise you, come Tuesday morning, I'm putting foot dead in your in front of them kids on oh, that bus. Oh, we got us a little hard oh. Who you think you is, man? What, you, you soldier boy or something? <laughs> Man, I don't think you know who you're talking to, man. This is real out here, man. I don't think you understand who you with. What's your address again, Greg? Gregory? 1402. Oh, okay. Feel the boy gonna be in the driveway tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I'll be there. Oh, yeah. You best believe okay. that. Okay. So we got, we got an understanding. You will be picking him up tomorrow. Is that understood? Oh, oh it's understood. It, it's going to be some other stuff getting picked up there, too. But I ain't going to be the one picking it up. It's going to be them ambulance service or whoever comes. They're going to be picking your <laughs> them up the driveway. Who you think oh, yeah. you're talking to, man? All I said was pick the boy up and go on about your business, man, and get him to school. Ain't going to be nothing what you talking about, man. I don't work for you. That's it. I don't know who you are. I don't know who your son is. And I ain't got time to be with y'all today. I told you who I was. Well, I told you. I'm Greg. That's who I am. I got, I got, I got, so I, I, let me tell you one more thing about me. Oh, man, you ain't got, you ain't got nothing else to talk about. You ain't talked enough. You ain't called my damn personal cell phone. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you about, man. It's Sunday, man. Let me say something else to you about me. You listening? What you got to say, man? This right here, the person you talking to, this is Nephew Tommy <laughs> from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your coworker Carol, got me to prank phone call you. Oh, my gosh, what that's funny. F- <laughs> Man, this ain't no real that was funny. That was that was Man, funny. Y'all. Hey T, calm down, man. This this nephew Tommy, man, from Steve Harvey Morning oh, Show. Man, <laughs> hey man, your coworker, you got a girl uh, drive the buses with your name, Carol? Yeah, yeah I know Carol. Man, no sh- we got man. you. <laughs> oh man, y'all, man, y'all, Ooh, Lord. I'm, I'm gonna get Carol tomorrow. Carol, I'm, I might drive that bus right up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. Hey man, I got one more thing to ask you, bro. What What's is that? the baddest radio show in the land? Man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. <laughs> it's nephew Thomas. Prank phone calls, uncut, uncensored. <laughs> I call this upright trash cans. This brother, I have called him on his day off at his house. It don't go too well. Upright trash can job. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a Kendrick Washington, please. This Kendrick was good. Uh, Hello. <laughs> sir, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, this is Wade, Wade Livingston. I wanted to try and speak with you if I could. You, you're actually... Um, one of the guys that work on the the garbage truck that comes to the neighborhood, am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. Back there. Uh, what, route you, I, what route you on? What route you on? I, I, uh, sir, I'm not sure about what route I'm on. I'm in Mission Forest Subdivision. <laughs> and um, listen, I'm, i got a bit of a problem. Uh, it, it seems right, that... You got, you got a problem. Uh, you need to call. First of all, how you get my number? Uh, sir, I, I, I've done the research on getting your number. I found out who's actually driving the truck as well as the people that are on the back of the truck. And I um, want to get some things clarified here. I'm noticing that when you guys come by my home and, you know, well, you, you who got— Who gave you—who—hold hold on, sir. I'm not—I'm not, 
Hold on, let me get up. I will, I will rest a little bit. Um, who gave you my number? Because you said you had a problem. I'm not the person who you talk to about problems. <laughs> I understand that, sir. But my, what what has been narrowed down is it's been given to me that you're actually the person that is the problem. And, and I wanted to give you a call personally and try and see if I can get that rectified. Now, you're, you're the one that's on the back of the truck and you, you pick up the trash can thingies or whatnot and throw the garbage uh-huh. in. So the problem I'm having is that when I come home in the evenings, my trash cans are in a disarray, you know, and what I want to do is call you and tell you, I want you to start bringing them to the back by the fence and sitting them up right and put the lids back on them and put them huh? in it. A- you, you said, hold on, hold on, sir. I, how you know I'm the person that even do your house? I you know I'm because I know sir, you can't. I, hold on, sir. I'm I'm at, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm asking the question. I know you can't be calling me on Saturday talking about your trash can, and this is my first Saturday off talking about your trash can. Yeah. I'm not, I want I, I, I want to get the problem rectified, and you're the problem, sir. You don't sir. even know if I'm the one who do your house. You don't you're, even know what route you on. Uh, you're Kendrick. You're, you're Kendrick Washington, and they've told me that you're the person on the back of the truck that comes through Mission Forest who on my t- street. Who and told you that? I, I I have ways of finding out, sir. Who's doing what? Okay. So what I need to find. What, no, listen to what I'm saying. So what you need to find out is the proper person to talk to about your particular. I don't know what route you. I don't know you. I don't know if I even do. Look, man, I'm not the person that you're supposed to call. I'm, man, it's Saturday. First sir, of all, that's, sir, that's listen, first. listen. I don't want to take this to another uh, level, but what I do want is my well, trash you, you put by the back level fence. When you call, when you call my cellular phone, um, talking about your, your trash on Saturday, and I ain't been off in no Saturday in a long time, um, sir. I'm not trying to be rude, but you may need to re- research your research. And, and, and talk to them, because I don't even know if I do your route, sir. You and, are the and, person on my route, Mr. Washington. Man, don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm the person on your route if you ain't. Man, listen to me. Listen Look, no, you're, what you're going to do is put my trash cans where I want them and when I want them there and the lids on top of them and quit throwing them across the yard as if you don't care. And I mean that. Man, who the fuck is you talking to about some trash cans on a Saturday? And I ain't never been off on a Saturday before ever. And you gonna tell call my sailor phone talking about your trash cans? That's right, because I need to talk to man. I want my trash cans put where they need to be in a post. I have to get out of my car, move the trash cans, take them over to the fence, put the lids on them, and I don't want to have to continue to do it. So I've done the research, and I found out, Mr. Washington, that you're the one. Man, I don't give a damn. Okay, okay, tell me how you want your trash can. I'm going to put them just like, tell me how you want your trash can. I want them put (laughs) in an upright position by the back fence near the gate with the lids on the top of them, please. How about putting them right up your ass? How about that? Because guess what? (laughs) I I know how I do your trash can from this on. I see your motherfucking house. You hear me? What what your house look like so I can throw your trash? No, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me tell you something. Matter of fact, mister, what's your name again? What's your name? (laughs) Livingston. Wade Livingston. Livingston. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to make sure that I put your trash just like you like it all over your motherfucking yard. You hear me? Excuse me. <laughs> on a fucking Saturday talking about up my trash can and you lost your goddamn mind. I have not lost my... I want my <laughs> I want my trash cans in an upright position. Me don't call my cellular phone with this nonsense. I got one more thing that I need to say to man, you. Are you, you listening? Man, nah, I'm not listening to shit you got to say. I know one goddamn thing. Man, look, you don't make me tear this whole motherfucking street up that you live. What street you live on again, sir? Because you don't call my cellular phone talking to me on no Saturday, man. You know I ain't been out on no Saturday. I ain't been out on no Saturday. I'm calling my phone. Talking about no day. Who, I got one more thing. I got one more thing I want to say to you. Are you listening, Mr. Kendrick Washington? Tell me me who gave you my goddamn number. That's who. Tell me who gave you my number. Can I tell you that? Yes, tell me. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just Uh, got you just got pranked by your boy Larry at the job. Man, Tommy, boy, Tommy. 
<laughs> man, you, boy, you gonna get your ass whooped, Tommy. <laughs> you and Larry gonna get your ass. I ain't gonna get this, Tommy. Y'all funny. Y'all real funny calling me on my cellular phone. Oh, uh, talking about boy upright track. Boy, y'all about to make me blood you, boy. Boy, oh, look here. La- la- my sugar and my blood didn't went up. <laughs> no, look here. Larry told me, he said, look here. Call Kendrick, and I promise you, he <laughs> gonna funny, lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, and I the- ain't been off on a Saturday ever. Wow. <laughs> wow. He had no off days. Man. That's crazy. Woo, man! Hey man, I gotta ask you, man. I gotta ask you because your boy tell me y'all be listening to us out there in ATL, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Y'all don't get y'all. I don't care who your uncle is. Time you call me on my cellular phone ever again, talking about the upright trash can. I'm whooping your ass and Mr. What? Livingston, Liverpool, whatever your name is. Man, you funny boy. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you. Y'all keep listening, man. I'm gonna send you something in the mail, boy. Oh man, y'all funny. Y'all... Hello? You gotta hold on a minute, okay? All right, I got your phone. I'll give your wife a call. Hello? Hello? Right now you're inebriated, sir. Okay? Right now I should be taking you in, but I'm not gonna do that. Hello? You let me, if she's able to come and pick you up, I'll let her come get you. All right, Officer Brian is gonna put you in his squad car. I'm gonna call your wife. I've got the phone dialing now, all right? Okay. Hello? 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 Who is this? Uh, who, am I, who am I speaking with, please? Who is this? This is Officer Daniel. Uh, Officer Daniel, you just called from. It, this is my husband's number. Who is the, uh, who is Officer Daniel? I am Officer Daniels, ma'am. Your, your husband's actually been pulled over, and he's been uh, actually he's in uh, another officer's car. He's uh, he's a little bit inebriated here, and we're trying to see about getting him picked up. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. You you got my husband. Uh, the, I, what I got here on the driver's license is, uh, Kenny, Kenny. And he's with you now. He's actually in Officer Brian's, uh, squad car right now. So, uh, he was actually, uh, bobbing and weaving out on the road, and we pulled <laughs> him over. He's not creating any problems. The young lady wasn't creating any problems. So, what we're, try- what we're trying to do is get somebody to come and pick him up. You have my husband, because my husband is at work. So, he can't uh, be in no Officer Brian or in your car. And, and what, okay. Back up. Did you say, tell me again, did you say somebody's with Kenny? There, is, there was a young lady in the car, man. We're actually letting her go because she's not inebriated. Oh, uh, oh, from the looks oh, of it, somebody, somebody, she's calling somebody to, to pick her up now. Man, so, no, no, no I, I can't believe this. <laughs> Kenny, and I know that dirty son <laughs> got no back in my car. That's <laughs> my car. And you said that he had, tell me this, officer, tell me this. Look at that <laughs> and tell me what she looked like. It better not be that that not be the one I think she is. I have no idea. I exactly. Excuse me, ma'am. I know. Ma'am, what, what exactly is your name? About in my car. He's supposed to be working. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Jasmine. Okay. You're Jasmine. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, just stay there. We'll, we'll talk to you in a moment. <laughs> it, we, it, her name is Jasmine. I'm not sure who she is okay. in relation to yeah. Katie, but keep them well, there. We, keep, keep it. Yeah, hold him there till I get there. I'm on my way. I'm on my way right now. Hey, Bridget, I want you to watch these children for me until I get back. I'm going to see if I can give me a ride up to the truck stop, and I'll be uh, back in a minute. Okay, ma'am. Listen, I can't. I can't stay here too much longer. I can. I can stay here maybe another 15, 20 minutes. Somebody come get the car, and but I got to keep moving here. I'm just trying to do a favor, and not listen, take this guy listen, in. I'm. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I got my purse in my hand. I'm on my way to that truck stop. Please don't take that nowhere, because I got something for his And when I get there, I hope like hell that ain't that that's been calling me with me all through the night. Leave wow. her there until I get there, because I got some things that I need to take care of this day. Don't move the squad car till I get there. I'm on my way right now. Right now. I'll be there in a minute. I swear that <laughs> took my car and picked up that today. Ooh, we done had arguments over this it better not be that. It better not. I bet you it better not be her. It better not be her. I'm on my way. I'll be there in a minute. I'll be okay, there. Okay. Keep that 
after I get there. Okay, well, do you know there's a guy that was with Kenny? Let me close my door so you can hear me better, man. Uh, yeah. There was another gentleman that was in the back seat of the car that was uh, riding with Kenny and the young lady. I don't give a <laughs> about no other <laughs> riding with Kenny. You just make sure he's there when I get there. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, do you know who this other gentleman? Do you know uh, 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 nephew Tommy? I don't care about no nephew, nephew Tommy. Uh, uh, uh. Nephew Tommy. <laughs> 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 Cynthia, Yo. this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Yo. Show, baby. Oh my God. Your husband, Kenny, got me to prank phone call you. Man, <laughs> you got to, you got to. <laughs> you and Kenny can kiss so let me tell you what was just going to happen to Kenny and nephew Tommy. I was going down to Bankhead in 285 and f*** <laughs> and tell him when he get home, he's still going to Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. You all right? Oh, my God. Nah, I'm going to kick Where you at, Tommy? <laughs> oh, man. He told me, he said, man, my wife don't play. He said, I call my wife, man, to prank my wife. You all right, Tommy? <laughs> I'm good, Tommy. I'm good. I'm good. But what for real, though, he's at work. 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 He in your car at work. He works. You better be at work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, tell me this. What's the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. Let's go, cat dog. The original pizza. May I help you? Hello, I'm trying to order pizza. Okay, can you hold for me, please? Okay, so about that, sir. Can I take your order? Yeah, I need to order well, 10 pizzas. You want 10 pizzas? And what kind of crust was that going to be? I need six. Sir, can you talk up on me, please? <laughs> I need six cheese pizzas. Six? six cheese pizzas on thin crust. What kind of crust was that again? Thin, thin, thin. Thin, six cheese, thin crust pizzas. And do you want any other toppings on that, sir? No, I need uh two two meat lovers. What was that again? Can you can you speak up a little bit? I'm really having a hard time hearing you. I need two meat lovers. Two meat lovers, is that? Yes, two meat lovers. Two meat lovers pizza. Okay, and what kind of crust would you like on that, sir? Uh, that's thick, thick crust. You said you want a thin crust on that. Thick. Sir, I'm having a really hard time <laughs> hearing you. Can you speak up for me? I need I need two. Meat lovers with thick crust. Thick crust. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the last is two veggies on thin crust. Two veggies? Veggies. 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 Two veggies. Two veggies on the thick crust. Do y'all do y'all deliver to um do y'all deliver to uh, um uh gated gated community? Okay, can you hold for a second for me, please, sir? <sighs> <laughs> Okay, sorry about that, sir. Okay, can I get your phone number? Uh, 342-689. Okay, I heard 342-689, but I didn't get the rest of those numbers. Can I get an area code or... No, my number 342-689. Okay, um, <laughs> I need to get the whole seven digits and the area code so that we can put you in the computer to try to find your location. I told you my number. My number is 342-689. Okay, okay, sir. Um, let me get my manager on the phone. Excuse me, wait. Um, there's my phone. Uh -huh. He's giving me like six numbers. I don't, maybe how can that's, he that's fine. I'll, I'll take care of it. Sir, how are you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. All right, I ordered 10 pizzas, six cheese pizzas, two meat lovers, and two veggies. I'm trying to see if, do y'all have a problem delivering to a gated community? Oh, not at all. We deliver to a gated community all the time. Let me just get a, a number for you and an address. Right, my number, 342-689. Sir, that's only <laughs> six digits. We need seven digits. Well, actually, your Eric code plus your seven digits. Okay, I, I don't, I don't. If you just leave it with the guard, he'll make sure I get it. No, sir, I don't think you understand. I need to have a phone number where I can call you. We can go in and out of the gate. That's not a problem. When I get you there, I want to deliver directly to you. You can't go in and out that gate. Shh, listen. You can't go in and out that gate. Sir, I'm, I'm sorry I can't hear you. Can you speak up some? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get 10 pizzas delivered, and you just drop it off with the guard. 
sir, I understand what you're saying. I'm trying to deliver the pizza to you directly. The guard is not who's getting the pizza, right? I'm delivering it. Well, he gon' he gon' he gon' pay you. I'm 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 cool with the guard. He gon' pay you. Okay. Well, where are you where are you located? Let's do this. Where are you located? I'm in Angola. Angola. <laughs> Angola. <laughs> where is that? Where is Angola? Angola. Y'all don't know where Angola. I'm in Angola. Angola, Louisiana. The penitentiary. Huh? So we can't deliver pizza to Angola penitentiary. Look, I ordered ten pizzas from her. Six, six cheese pizzas, two meat lovers, and two veg. Look, I can't be on this phone too much longer. Listen, sir, I, I, I know what you're saying, but we're not delivering to Angola. Do you know where we're located? You gotta call somebody. We're in Dallas. Look, you gotta call somebody Damn. in Angola, Louisiana. Look, I'm trying to get these ten pizzas. Look, I'm. Later, I'm not finna go back and forth with you. Exactly, and I'm not gonna go back and forth with you either. We are unable to deliver this pizza to you, okay? Why? Because you are in the penitentiary, sir. No one delivers pizza to people in the penitentiary. People in the penitentiary can't order pizza? No, sir, they cannot. We do not deliver to the penitentiary. And then we're in Dallas. Do you know how long it would take to get pizza to Angola? I don't <laughs> give a damn. Let me think. Okay, who the manager there? I am the manager. You're speaking with the manager. What's your name? Never mind what my name is. <laughs> Just know that I'm the manager. Okay, let me say this to you. Since you're the manager there, if I don't get no pizzas here tonight, I'm when I get out in three years, I'm coming down there and I'm going to f*** you up. Who the f*** you think you're talking to? You ain't going to f*** me up in three years. I won't be here, but matter of fact, I just might stay here for three years. So when you come back... Let me tell you something. If y'all don't bring these pieces to this penitentiary and get it to the guard before he get <laughs> off work, then damn it, it's going to be some around here. Now, I didn't order these 10 pizzas and everybody on the cell block is waiting on them. Oh, so, my I God. I don't care about you and your folk on your cell block. You are in the penitentiary, and I don't even know why you calling or you on my phone. This is a business, okay? And I have a job to do. I am not delivering pizzas to a penitentiary. So y'all discriminating about where y'all bring pizzas at? No, we don't discriminate, <laughs> but we ain't located in Angola unless you're going to give me some Petrol for my metro, I ain't coming. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I want you to remember these number three four two dash six eight nine. If you see that spray painted on your house or that damn pizza place, <laughs> then you know my then got out and I'm looking for your three four two dash six eight nine. I don't give a f about three four two six eight nine and seven four three. What I'm saying is your <laughs> is grass if you come up here in three years and guess what? Don't drop the soap. Who, who you think you talking to? That's what I said. Who you think you talking to? You better get off my phone. I got, I got one more thing to tell you before I get out in three years. What? These are the last words I'm going to say to you. Hey, what's that? You listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Say what you got to say. <laughs> this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girlfriend, Cherie, got me to pray phone call you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You got to be, you got to be freaking kidding me, man. Marcus purchased his condoms on Friday. 
the date I have here on this transaction, man, since Friday of last week. Yes, ma'am. We don't even use them. Oh. But for the fact that you have called me talking about that my husband is kind of last Friday, when we don't even use them at all, I'm so upset right now. Okay, you know what? Mm. Hold on. I'm going to call him right now if you wait. We have to get this you, system. I'm so upset. Rather, hang, on, hang on a second. Would you rather give me his cell and I, I give him a call and let him know what's going on? Could you just give me his number? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm calling him myself oh, right shit. now. Hold on. Oh, shit. Hey, what's up? I'm about to get in the chair. What's up? What's up? I'm at the barbershop. What's, I, what's I up? I'm, I'm getting in the chair right now. About. No, what? I think you need to uh, get up and go outside. Because what I'm about to say, you don't want to talk about this in front of all you people. Wait, what? What's, wait, okay. Give me a second, bro. One second. Five minutes. What? What's going on? What's up? What's uh, up? Well, wait, I'm being respectful in front of your folks. First of all, so why do I get a phone call from, like, the manager of talking about you bought some condoms and they were defective last Friday? Really? Wait, what? Wait, what? Is this a type of joke on, right baby. now? Baby, oh. what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hey, what am I about? talking about? You tell me what I'm talking about. You tell me what are you, you talking about. You sound crazy. I'm trying no, to get No, no, I'm not up. crazy. I'm not crazy. This is real. What? Cut the f*** out uh, and tell me what the f*** is um, going on right now. Uh, excuse me, hello? 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 Who the f***? Who, who is this <laughs> on my line? Who you, you calling me on the phone? Who is this? Okay, how you doing? You're Marcus, correct? Who is this? I'm, I'm Barry. I worked on the general manager at Watkins, and we were calling. Barry, the, yeah. wait, 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 Barry. How you get my number? Why my wife calling me talking this crazy <laughs> about a condom or something, Barry? What's, what's happening? Get to the point, bro. Y'all, <laughs> I'm not y'all, y'all, crazy. You're crazy. Barry, okay, so, who is, what's your name? Barry? Okay, my name, is, my name is Barry. I'm the general manager here at Watkins. And okay. basically, what we have a condom recall, and we have your credit card that you made a transaction uh, this past Friday. Wait, 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 wait. One... Barry, 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 Barry. What the f*** are you talking about? No, you're going to try to act oh, like you what? don't know what you're talking about? Really? You know Tyra. exactly what you're talking about. Tyra, could you be quiet? No, that's no, that's a... no, that's I'm no. trying to get a... Because this is crazy. I'm trying to get a heck. I don't got this. Okay, so, sir, what it is, we have a transaction with your credit card that condoms were purchased. And what's happening is those condoms are defective. So we're doing a, a recall on all of them. So we're trying to get those condoms back. You don't want to Barry, get money. Barry. Yes. First of all, you made a mistake. You, you couldn't possibly have my, my credit card, sir. You you really... Okay, well, well, you card, my, card, sir, card. hold on. For, so Barry, this is my family, Barry. I don't, I don't play about my family, Barry. Okay. What are you talking about, Barry? Uh, I'm, I'm, I've stated it, sir. We, this card, uh, this is how we got the number um, to your home where your wife is, and we were trying to actually just read. We weren't trying to create any problems. We just wanted to let you know that the condoms were defective. That's right. You're Sir, I, don't, the fact, I don't know. Marcus, the fact. Baby, first of all, baby, you, you're doing a lot on the, on the phone in front of Barry. I don't even know where you're coming you're from. You're doing a lot now, right? Uh, yeah. You're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Listen, baby, right now? we discussed this. We, we passed this part in our relationship. I told you that I was done with we that are? Part. Are we? I told you that. Barry, so I apologize. I, listen. Were you, did you, did you, I, were you in Walgreens on Friday of last week, sir? I was not. Well, these these were purchased Friday around six o'clock Friday evening of last week. Very, very. That's what he wasn't home. I mean, that much. It's very fascinating. That he was at work doing overtime. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Right. Let's stop. Let's stop. I see the you picture now. <laughs> what picture? Very. See, you got my listen. You got my wife talking crazy. I mean, what are you? <laughs> very, very, uh, very. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's 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 like this is wrong. This is wrong. Right. Baby, I didn't do this. Baby. I'm so disgusted. First of all, we don't even use I'm cunt. I'm so disgusted with you, Marcus. We don't you even use cunt. Baby, we don't even use I'm cunt. Why am I oh, putting this yeah. out? Come on. Uh, Mr. Marcus, not, this, was a, this was a pack of 12. You remember buying a 12 pack of Magnum? I don't. I still so can't trust you. We, we passed the man. That's a lie. Why are you on here believing this <laughs> oh, wow. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have spoken to God about yeah, this. No, no, I, I can't Barry, I you can't, can't believe you're doing this. Oh, wait, I hold can't. on. Hold no, on. I'm Barry. I'm Barry. Doing yes, I yes, sir, I'm, I'm here. I didn't I'm do here. this. <laughs> Barry, you got to be out of your guy. Man, calling me with this. You got to. You got to be out. You got to be out your mind. Are you the person that bought the damn gun? You're the person. You're the person that's been accidentally cheating on your wife. Wow. Hey, dude, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Tommy the one did it. It wasn't me. 
Wait, what? Damn, I don't know no. Tommy, who All I'm saying is, who the Tommy is, the one told, Tommy <laughs> told me to call you because you the one bought the condom. Tommy said you bought. Who is Tommy? <laughs> Not you, Tommy. <laughs> Both of y'all just got pranked. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't well, believe okay. that. Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding. Nephew Tommy. Hey, Tyron, your sister Trish is who got me to prank y'all. Oh, man. Well, I guess we're gonna be leaving her out at the holidays, huh? She <laughs> <laughs> ain't coming to the house, man. You ain't, you ain't cursing me out on this phone. You know how I love oh, you. My you, know gosh. you. You know how I feel about you, man. All right, man. Buddy Long, both of y'all, y'all gotta tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest? Radio show in the land, baby. It's 2020. Give it to me. What is it? It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Let's go, cat dog. All right, I think that was it right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, that was a good one. That was a good one. So, um, I hope y'all really enjoyed um, this uh, me reacting to Nephew Tommy. Um, I, like I said, I got some more. I'm going to be doing some more um, Nephew Tommy videos. Also, um, some more Super Nanny stuff. So, be looking out for those videos. But other than that, y'all, thank y'all so much for the love and support. I really appreciate y'all. really appreciate y'all patience with me. Because editing videos is a trip. It's really a trip. And, it, and it's very time consuming. So, I appreciate y'all, you know being patient with me so yeah y'all yeah. so other than that um we're gonna end this right here make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to cutie cam vlog and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you miss out any videos i have for you but other than that you guys have a good day or evening stay blessed and i will see y'all next time okay bye